Gresham's Law states that bad money drives out good money. And this is true. Bad money drives out good money. Now, some people look at that negatively. No, that's extraordinarily positive. And here's how Gresham's Law works. Bad money drives out good money. Because look, I've got Bitcoin, good money, and I've got dollars, bad money, melting. The guy says, I'll take Bitcoin or USD. You think I'm giving this dude my Bitcoin? Driving Bitcoin out of circulation and using the bad money. I'm getting rid of the junk. I'm getting rid of the garbage. Take the garbage. Oh, I need eggs? Take the garbage. You're not taking my Bitcoin. Driving that in my pocket. So bad money is if there's good money and bad money, the bad money drives the good money in your pocket out of circulation. As more and more people put the good money in their pocket and use the bad money for transient things in their life, for transient things in their life, when enough people have Bitcoin in their pocket, some people are going to start saying, wait a minute, I don't want your bad money. I, that good money in your pocket, in your cold storage, I want that. You want what I'm, what I'm offering here? You want this? You want my home? You want this penthouse? Okay. Give me, give me the good money. And that is going to start happening over time more and more where people are going to say, no, nope, put the bad money away. I'm not doing that. If you really want the value that I have, if you really want that specialty that I do, if you really want my talent on this for you, give me some of that good money. And as more and more people do that, Gresham's law of bad money driving out good money changes to tears law. Look this up. Gresham's law, tears law. Look them both up. Tears law states that then good money starts driving out bad money. As more and more people say, I know you've got Bitcoin. Don't give me this idea that you only have the shit money. I know you got Bitcoin. If you want this, you're going to have to give me the good money. As more and more people start doing that, less and less people start accepting the bad money. And now good money drives out the bad money. So much so that the good money starts being your main medium of exchange. But you can't get to the main medium of exchange until you have Gresham Law Gresham's law period for a while where good money has been driven into your cold storage over millions, tens of millions, billions of people first. Then there's a gradual shift to tears law where it becomes more and more of the only money that's demanded. That's when you move to medium of exchange uh, evolutionary step in Bitcoin's process. Now, I say all of that to say this, people. We're not there. We're not at the stage of Tears Law. We're not at the stage of Bitcoin as medium of exchange. And thank God, because number go up is bigger during Gresham's Law. It is not that big during Tears Law. Don't rush tears law. Don't rush medium of exchange. That's when your, your main money starts to stabilize. I want more number go up. So these medium of exchange maxis have no concept of the evolutionary steps in the process of a money becoming a full-fledged money. So this is why I say that Bitcoin is a, is a burgeoning money. It is on its way to being a full-fledged money. And thank God, because the greatest opportunity is before it becomes a full-fledged money, not after it becomes a full-fledged money. Because we live in a world where I have Bitcoin, listen to me, I have Bitcoin. I also have dirty fiat. And people are still stupid enough to say, give me the junk? Really? 
man, I'm going to take that trade every day. I'm going to keep my Bitcoin and give them the melting ice cube. Oh, you want the melting ice cube? By all means. I'm not rushing the day where someone says, Oliver, no, I'm sorry, man. You got to give me Bitcoin. I, I, but I need this for my fam. All right, if you need it for your family, you're going to have to give me Bitcoin. Okay, I'm not rushing that day. So we're in the era where most of the world will still take your dollars. Can you freaking believe that? The thing that's mathematically designed to make you wealthier every four years of your life. They don't want that. They want the thing that's mathematically designed to make you poor every four years of your life. I will take that trade every single second of the day. Do you understand? I'll take it twice every single second on Sundays. Be glad we're in this phase. You're, you're, there are going to be people in your bloodline that look back on your era today and says, I can't believe that my great uncle lived in a time where people literally accepted government money instead of Bitcoin. Really? You're going to have people in your bloodline who say, I can't believe that my grandfather, my grandmother lived at a time where people actually accepted dollars for their Bitcoin. Like, who would do that? <laughs> Crazy, right? So my point is that because we're not there yet, I'm going to use the bad money and keep the good money. But if I'm all in on Bitcoin, I got to use the good money just like I would use the bad money. Or I need to put gas in the car. Or I, I need to now cash out some Satoshis to go grocery shop. I'm not doing that, dude. We're not there yet. That's freaking wishful thinking. That None of that makes sense to me. I'm sorry. I'm offending some Bitcoin maximalists right now. I consider myself part of you, but I'm not there. I've got bad money and I'm going to get rid of that. I'm not getting rid of the good money. That doesn't even make sense to me.